Hi, welcome to tutorial 6 of SARS. In this tutorial we're dealing with comments on SARS. The commenting system is very easy to use and the objective is to fill the public participation process around many of our cases and uh, there are different situations where SARA and the provincial authorities and later the municipalities uh, with heritage units um, will, will be dealing with cases. Uh, sometimes we're the decision makers, sometimes we are uh, commenting to other decision bodies, decision making bodies. Um, but in any of these circumstances what we're interested in is receiving your heritage related comments. Um, the first bit of this tutorial will take you through making the comments and while we're making the comments we'll discuss the uh, scenarios and uh, some of the issues around commenting. First thing to do is log on to SARS, so create an account and anybody can comment on a case and there are three tiers or different types of commenting um, modes if you like. You may be a committee member on SARS um, and your comments are then used to formulate decisions. Um, you, you may be a registered conservation body on SARS and uh, your comments are then in a certain block as we'll see in a second or you are a general member of the public uh, interested in the case and you are then also able to make a comment. Um, this process is exactly the same. So the first thing you want to do is find the case that you're interested in. Often people will find a case on Google um, that's come up on SARA. So if, you know, for instance we Google um, the uh, Jachis Fontaine mine, the Free State, which is a current case, you can look that up. Uh, the old IP address of the server shows up because this, when this was first cached on Google, uh, our IP address was running in, instead of our domain at the time. So you can then hyperlink to the case. Or we might pick up something like the Nakwa Solo Farms. Um, and you'll notice the links come up. Um, there's various cases there. Um, if we these are all um, decisions actually. So let's take um, uh, say full clip. Perhaps that'll come up um, with the case. Um, right. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Let's uh, take this one. Okay, and then this is case ID number 80. Okay, so I'm simply going to search for number 80 and I'm going to pick heritage cases. Okay, and I was interested in the full clip. In fact, it's probably easier just to do by the name. Full clip and I'll retain the current filters. Great. Right, so we've got our case. Um, and we'd like to pass a comment in this case. Now this one might be closed already, um, but um, if the, the decision hasn't been made on the the case, then you, you know, the comments will still be open. Um, so we can see this is closed, so my, the link for commenting isn't available. So that shows you once the case officers have gone through the process and they've made their decision, uh, you are not able to comment anymore. Let's pick a case that I know is open. This is just the demo case. Okay, some Moiler. Right, and you'll see at the top left are the open cases. I have the add new comment link and you simply click on the link. Let's just close that while we wait. Right, so you'll see the case name and just below that is a link next to the read count, add new comment. So it's as easy as that. So read through all the documentation, there's previous decisions and letters, there are permits maybe related to the case, um, there are heritage reports that you can download if you go in there, there's the just other decision makers, um, references, the EIA documentation will be attached to additional documents. Um, 
the map is under location info and the case officer the states of the case the meetings that passed uh, for this case and then what we call the inventory link so if this is linked to a site or an, an object or series of objects then the case is linked to those heritage resources um, but often in development cases you uh, only uh, record the, the heritage resources um, a bit later um, in the process um, if you don't know, if you've never surveyed the ground before so uh, down at uh, case header we can see previous comments um, so this one is the um, same account I'm logged into as at the moment, a test account, it's just a general public co comment. If I was a registered conservation body in my role then I would my comments would be, uh, be flagged into the registered conservation bodies block. Let's make a comment, a new comment. Right, and then it basically just pops up a little box below the case and I enter my comments. So uh, this is a test Whoop. comment. Great. Now, ag again, we really insist that the comments you make have something to do with heritage related issues. Um, this system is not for inquiries around um, the environment or the bats and so on, unless they have some kind of heritage significance. Um, so um, your comments related to other issues, perhaps it's water issues and so on, it should go to the relevant departments like Water Affairs or the directly to the EIA consultants during their public participation processes if this is a Section 38 case um, in terms of the NHRA. Um, so there's a whole complexity around comments which uh, I'm just alluding to. Um, so you know, there's a lot of information, you can contact SARA um, or your um, the consultant running a particular case um, for more information around that but this portal is really around heritage uh, comments only so these are then used um, in making the decision or the comment the formal comment from SARA or from a, a provincial heritage authority under file attachments the um, commenter is able to upload a PDF or an image related to the comment so sometimes there's something relevant that you'd like to add that uh, amplifies something you're mentioning in your comment. It might be a building that's being uh, proposed for demolition and you might have an old photograph showing you know what the site looked like uh, 50 years ago um, showing it in a different context which might enhance the significance or some you know, standing the significance of the building um, various things you might use. Uh, rich conservation bodies for instance would upload the uh, formal letter that they might produce from a committee meeting um, as their formal comment um, but the most important thing is that they enter the text from their uh, comment into the block. Once you're done and you've entered your comment please hit save and that's it. Uh, now depending on the rights of the, uh, the user um, the comment will be situated in <coughs> one of the three blocks.